What is blockchain? If you've heard the term Bitcoin, chances are you've also heard about blockchain. So what is it and why should you care? Blockchain is the link between business and technology. To understand blockchain, we'll keep everything simple to the bare bones. Focus on the basic concepts and not on practical implementation. Let's start off with the two terms that you must understand, Bitcoin and blockchain. Bitcoin is digital currency, a currency which is digital. We'll do another video specifically about Bitcoin some other time. Now, blockchain, on the other hand, is the technology that enables moving Bitcoin from one person to another. That's not the only purpose of blockchain since it can be used for documentation, tracking of tangible and digital goods and many other uses. Blockchain helps solve the problem of money transfer. For example, James, who lives in Germany, wants to send money to Adam, who lives in Switzerland. The conventional way is that a trusted third party, normally a bank, gets involved between these two persons to facilitate this transfer of money. So James contacts his bank to send money to Adam. The bank identifies Adam as the intended receiver of the money through his bank account. And the money is transferred from James' bank account to Adam's. And for providing this service, the bank charges a fee. This process normally takes two to five days, depending on several factors. Blockchain, on the other hand, does three things. One, it removes the third party from money transfer. Two, the transfer takes almost no time at all. And three, it's cheaper. Let's take a look at the function of blockchain in a little detail. The concept of open ledger is crucial to understanding this. Suppose there's a network of four people who want to move money from one another. At inception, A has 10 euros. This amount along with its owner is registered in the ledger. Now A wants to send 5 euros to B. This transaction will be added to the current ledger as a chain. Now person B wants to send 3 euros to person C. The previous process will be repeated to add this transaction to the ledger. And finally C wants to send 1 euro to D and this gets recorded the same way. This is the concept of open ledger. And the way the transactions are linked one after another is why it's called blockchain. The chain of money transaction is open and public to everyone. The beauty of open ledger is that everyone in the network has the same information about the flow of money and how much every individual has. Also, everyone is a party to decide whether a transaction is valid or not. For instance, A tries to send 20 euros to D. It will not be added to the ledger because it's not a valid transaction. Everyone in the network knows that now A has only 5 euros. Therefore, this transaction will not become part of the chain. The second principle of blockchain is decentralization. Right now, this open ledger seems centralized. To change this, blockchain provides a distributed ledger. It takes the centralized open ledger and distributes it. So anyone in the network can have the copy of the ledger. And this eliminates the need for a centralized trusted entity. But this also creates a problem. If anyone can have the copy of the ledger, then to maintain the accuracy, all the copies need to be exactly the same. Any change occurring in the open ledger needs to be recorded at the same time in all copies that the network participants possess. We've seen that the ledger is open and anyone can see it. We've also seen that the ledger is distributed across various nodes. A node is just a unit in a network. So for simplicity, you can think of node as one person in a network of many people. Let's see how this distributed ledger gets synchronized. Suppose B wants to send five euros to D. To do that, B will publicly broadcast his intention to the entire network and 
everyone in the network will immediately see that B wants to send 5 euros to D. But this transaction is not valid yet. Before we go any further, we must understand the concept of miners. Miners are special nodes or people that can hold the ledger. Let's assume that C and A are miners. Now this gets interesting because the way a transaction is validated is based on a competition. When A and C observe an invalid transaction, they will both compete to validate and add it to the ledger first. The miner who wins this race gets a financial reward. Let's understand what it takes to win this race. A miner needs to do two things. One, he needs to validate the transaction, which is easy because the ledger is open and anyone can calculate whether a person has enough funds to make the transaction. The second part is difficult, where the miner needs to find a key that enables him to actually add the new transaction to the ledger chain. So how does a miner find the key? Well, he needs to invest computational power and time to find the key because it's found through a random search. The miner is repeatedly guessing new keys till he guesses the right one, which matches the random puzzle. And this gives them access to add the transaction to the chain. The first miner who solves this puzzle gets a financial reward. Usually it's a digital coin. So how are the ledgers synchronized across all the nodes? Suppose miner C solved the puzzle before everyone else and is able to add the new transaction to the ledger. Now C will broadcast the solution of the random puzzle to the entire network. This person C will say, hey, look at this transaction and here's the key that allows you to add it to the ledger. So now A will look at the solved puzzle and will add it to the ledger. Since there is no point in solving a puzzle that's already solved, A will look for another transaction which it hopefully can solve the fastest and get the reward. Let's summarize. We learned that blockchain and Bitcoin are two different things. Bitcoin is digital currency and blockchain is the technology to move this currency. Blockchain primarily functions on the concept of open ledger. A ledger that's public, where anyone can see and validate transactions. Since there are multiple nodes or people that maintain a synchronized ledger, there's no need for a centralized one. We also learned that miners are special nodes in a network that validate and add a new transaction to the ledger. The financial incentive that the miners get ensures that everyone keeps an accurate and up-to-date copy of the ledger.